This is Teaching to the Test Pattern. Hey, buddy, thank you for downloading this episode of Teaching to the Test Pattern. I'm Tom White, and today we're going to talk about marketing and we're going to talk about automation. And we're going to talk about the Pixelot camera and how it can change your life as a video teacher. You can be a rock star and not do anything. It's super easy, super amazing. I have one of the Pixelots now, I have two more on order. I cannot wait to get them installed. And actually, I'm trying to get two more on top of that two more. So I'm going to hopefully have five on my campus um, in the next uh, six months to a year. Today's show is brought to you by Amatrace.com. And and I keep thinking about the work that they put in for educators. And I I want to go back to last week at the SkillsUSA conference. Uh, They sent down three techs. Those guys set up three cameras, they set up a TriCaster, they set up the teleprompters, they set up lights, they set up the the desk, they set up a green screen, they they white balance, obviously, but then they went in and they used all the the graphs and they, and they, they scoped everything out and they made sure it was perfect, just in time for it to get canceled. They didn't complain, they took some pictures, they said, this looks great, we're going to share the pictures, we're going to talk about it. They broke it down with the help of some students and some other teachers. They got it out to their car and they went away and they, they weren't upset. They, they understand that those things happen. Amitrace.com, A-M-I-T-R-A-C-E.com. If you have an idea on something you want to do, reach out to them. They will take care of you. They, they want to build, a, they use the word robust. You know, the, the, let them be your engineer so, that, so you can just, you focus on teaching. Okay, you focus on teaching. They'll teach you how to teach it. That's the beauty of Amitrace. Amitrace.com, A-M-I-T-R-A-C-E.com. Now, here is the second part of my conversation with Mark Rothberg and Lauren Scherer from the NFHS Network. Teaching to the test pattern. So you talk about that. Let's talk. Let's let's segue right into kind of how, how to how to educate them. I mean, that yep. kind of goes into the marketing side. Um, what is the most important thing for someone who is starting a program to market first? Yeah, I think it's early adoption from top down in the school system. Um, usually our best programs had have some sort of, you know, administrator, athletic director, principal, superintendent, you know, just blast this out to their community to say, this is what we're doing. This is why it's important. And this is what happens when you subscribe to the network so you know if it's a superintendent to say if you want to come and you want to watch football on friday nights you have to subscribe if you can't make it obviously to the stadium um subscribe and you know part of your subscription goes back to this program or goes back to the athletic department and really give the fans a sense of pride that they're not only supporting you know the kids on the field but they're supporting you know the kids behind the microphones or the cameras and just you know getting that overall good feeling and it's not just a big corporation like we get called sometimes taking money you know it really is all about the kids at the end of the day it's the student athletes but it's also providing a service for these kids that aren't going to be on the field to make a career for themselves or start their career you know behind the camera or behind the microphone and i told somebody the other day that i take more pride in my kids obviously egocentrically but <laughs> because they go to the games knowing that they're not going to get the accolades you know the guy that's running my camera at a basketball game we may win the state championship but he got a piece of pizza you know right, and, right. And, and that to me is is a big deal because there are a lot of kids who don't want those accolades and i think that uh, that that really is a is a big thing there so um you talked about educating again and we're going to go back to the marketing thing What's a good campaign, um, and I think you touched on it coming from the administrator, but what can a teacher do yeah. to, when, they, when they start to, to, to inform people that they're doing it? Uh, what, do you th- what have you seen that, that has worked for people to kind of build that program from the start? Yeah, it's not rocket science. It's just using what you have. So if you have a weekly newsletter that goes out to your family and your community, you know, do a little section in there like what's coming up, you know, on – your TV channel or MHS TV, you know, whatever, Morgan County, let's use yours. You know, right now on MHS Live, we've got the softball game, the baseball game, and here are the links to watch it, you know, that type of thing. Use social media. Everyone's on social media. It's either Twitter or Facebook, and if you're creative, you're on TikTok and Snapchat and everything else. But most moms and dads and grandparents are on Facebook and then Twitter as well. So just blast it out to the masses like we're playing tonight tomorrow at seven o'clock but always include the link to the game you know don't make people go out 
in this big world, most people can't say NFHS Network off their tongue. So don't make them try to find it. Like, give them a link to the game. Tell them exactly how to watch it. Tell them that if they subscribe, you know, proceeds are going back to the school. Just make it really easy for people to find it and to watch. So I think something Lauren touched on is I feel like you have teachers that go out and they do this stuff, and sometimes the coaches are only half aware that it's going on. So going, talking to those coaches, all those coaches have Twitter accounts, they have Facebook, the teams have Facebook accounts, and really starting it extremely grassroots. And then when people like something, they're going to tell everybody else about it. And that's, you know, that's one of the biggest ways that we've grown, word of mouth. Yeah, I mean, if you've got a, a Twitter account with five followers, it's not going to do much. But if, you know, your head coach of the football team's got 2,500 followers, having him, you know, buy in on this process to say, hey, watch us tonight, here's the link. You know, that's, again, that goes back to the credibility of what we're trying to do here. And I know that here in Georgia, you guys, from the network side, help tremendously mm-hmm. on the marketing. And that's one of the things that as I'm talking to people about it, some of the stuff that you guys do, especially during football yep. season, to make people aware. Kind of detail some of that yeah. so for, some, for people who don't know. Yeah, so uh, a couple years ago, we really ramped up our efforts on the marketing side uh, for the network. And really, it's all about understanding who's watching your games, um, who's following your school, who's who's got a vested interest in your school. We've got a team of data scientists. That, yes, that's a thing. I didn't realize that till a couple years they're ago. Really and too. they're really good, And they're really good. You know, I, act, I nod my head. I'm like, oh, yeah, I I knew that. I thought about that. Um, but I mean, we can, we have it down to a science where if you've watched this, you know, a particular school on a Friday night, we can tell you, you know, when that t- team is going to play again next Friday night or when they're going to play basketball or what have you. So there's a couple different things. Following your school is really important for us. You know, there's a follow button. Um, that means that we know that you are a fan of your school. And so any event that comes on, you know, within the foreseeable future, you'll get an email every morning to say, hey, watch this. Or right before game time, we do this for football. Hey, your game kicks off in 10 minutes. Make sure you watch. So just knowing who's involved and invested in that school really lets us market to them. But just overall in general, I mean, we can market your programs in on the Facebook pages and Twitter and on Google. I mean, we really try to figure out what people like and who they're interested in and, and really market to them. And that just helps you in the long run. Uh, we have a really cool partnership with the Georgia High School Football Daily. Um, they're awesome partners. They do most of the writing for the AJC. Uh, and goodness, it's probably been five yeah. years that we've been working with them. And they send it out to 20,000 people a day. I actually read it every day. It's really good. Uh, and that's helped us a long way. Um, you know, another cool thing that we've learned from doing this is you, you almost create these nodes. So the more schools we have on in an area, uh, as soon as we add on another school in that area, because they've been on the network, they're able to get a lot more followers quickly because mm-hmm. we have information on them. We're able to market to them and, and tell them that this is happening. So when you look at, um, you know, California, Illinois, and Georgia, where we have the most schools is where our schools are also the most successful. And then we also know from our data scientists, what schools we should go out and get next that will immediately be able to market, you know, to a large following of their fans. Yeah. And max preps has really helped us out. Um, anyone who's been on a max preps page for their particular high school and they're on the network automatically gets a, Hey, watch this game live. You get a little, you know, alert there. So, I mean, even if you've got a a fan that you didn't even know existed. It was like, oh, when are we going to, or when's this team going to play? Then go on Max Preps. They see their schedule and they're like, oh, look, all these games are scheduled to be live broadcast. So it's really cool. That's part of the conversation I had with somebody literally last week. I said, listen, if for no other reason, the marketing alone is a reason to go with the network. I mean, Mm -hmm. if you just take that marketing piece, the, the, the football daily, the Max Preps, the, the website, the email, that alone, teaching to the test pattern and that wraps up part two of my conversation with mark and lauren part three will come out in a day or so but i do want to expound a little bit on the marketing piece i could not pay for the marketing that i get from the nfhs network i couldn't i couldn't afford it i wouldn't be able to manage it and it all just kind of happens so if you're streaming sports you're not using the nfhs network i highly recommend that you do it if not if you're not in a situation where you don't you can't or don't want to that's totally fine. But take the tech, the tips that Lauren gave there with the social media and the administrator buy-in and how to get, you know, just buy-in across the board for your program. Thank you so much for listening, downloading this. If you like it, 
like it. If you want to share it, share it. Please do so. Subscribe to it. We're now available everywhere, man. We're YouTube, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, Spreaker, uh, Spotify. Literally, if you can't find it, it's on you. And I got real country right there, didn't I? Thank you again so much for listening. Have a great day. And as always, go make some awesome. Teaching to the test pattern.